Justice and peace to each and every one of you. This is your servant of a man, God, the world's top cop with news uncut. I'm going to get right to it in Park Forest, Illinois. We have this 24-year-old, Aaliyah Ivory. She's going to meet some friends. She's on the highway. She wants to merge into I-57 going north. The driver, who happens to be a male, not only a male, but a white male, doesn't want her to get over so he attempts to push her off the road. Well, she didn't take kindly to that. So she makes enough effort to pull up in front of him. Well, he didn't like that either. So he pulls up on the side of her. And out of his mouth comes racial slurs. So the next thing you know, two gunshots, according to the statements, is directed towards her vehicle. She attempts to flee from that location with her life. He didn't have enough. Behind her fires six shots. Six of those shots hits the target and now her life is in a fight to maintain her life. She was able to pull over. Police gets to the scene. Gunshots are all in back of that vehicle, as you can see, to the vehicle, which is hers. Do you know that Ivory did not shoot at this man in his vehicle? Do you also know that I pretty much know, and you don't even have to tell me, that after the shots was fired towards her, she didn't pull out her weapon because she is concealed and the racial terrorist has a concealed handgun license. So, she didn't fire off any shots, but he fired off shots and all six shots attempted to kill her. She is surviving and as you see her now, she is fighting with every breath of her body and every move that she makes to regain her own self of strength to survive the six shots that that racial terrorist did to her. The police puts him in handcuffs. He stays at the scene. His statement is he was in fear of his life. While being in fear of his life, you have to wonder what made him fear for his life. Evidence shows all of the question and all of the time that from point A and from point B, from the encounter on the road, point B, from the racial verbal language encounter to point C, goes to him shooting inside her vehicle and now it is stated and it is known that her weapon was on safety in his own safety and he she never fired a shot and this racial terrorist is released and goes home at the attempted murder on this woman who fired no shots and by the way Keep in mind that this concealed racial terrorist targeted her from behind her vehicle. Where is the fear of his life? The fear came when she was still alive and he didn't finish the job by shooting six times at this woman. So now we're dealing with attempted murder and we're dealing with a hate crime. It's pretty obvious. It's simple. This lady, did she draw her weapon? No. This lady, did she fire her weapon? No. This lady, did she have her hand on her weapon? I would say she did not even have time. By the time after the bullets came towards her, and her trying to defend herself from these bullets, her hands received over 30, 30 fractures of bones from the bullet entering to her hand. Do you think 
she had a chance to grab a weapon. So the question now is, why did he shoot his weapon? He shot his weapon because of hate. He shot his weapon because he saw a black woman. He shot his weapon because he saw a woman who was vulnerable and had no one to turn to on that road but to look at the bullets going towards her from behind her. So she was trying to get away from him. And while trying to get away from him, he was firing inside from the backside into her vehicle, which aimed towards her and shot her six times. Not keeping in mind that she could have had her child in the car, but her child wasn't in the car, but he didn't care who was in the car. He was shooting inside the car and wanted to kill, and he almost got his wish, but thankfully, she is still fighting for her life. And so now again, where is the fear for his life? Where was the gunshots coming from her vehicle? There was none. Where was the gun being seen from her vehicle in attempt to shoot at him? There was none because her gun was on safety while his gun was off safety shooting towards her and hit her six times. We have a attempted murder who was released by the police and now he's home drinking on peanut cup or whatever it is of his choice of drink, feeling good about himself, but not too good because he didn't accomplish his mission. And I pray to God. And I speak life into that lady that she will be able to overcome what has approached her. But let me tell you something. Murder charges on that racial terrorist. Hate crime charges for the arrest of that racial terrorist. Lessons to be learned. When you are on the road and you know someone is being aggressive towards you on the road, the best thing to do is to not engage simply with this individual or an individual. Certainly, if something becomes verbal enough and you even hear any kind of racial tone, aggression from that vehicle or from verbally from the person in the vehicle, you assess it, back up, get the information you need about the vehicle and the identification of the person in the vehicle, document everything that you have towards that person and ensure that that information is given correctly to the police. Now, how do you do that? CPIIA, Citizens and Police Immediate Interactive Assistance, available 24 seven to assist every individual as this woman prior to, doing, and after any problem dangerous encounter, any threat, we will help you document detail by detail necessary to ensure that racial terrorists and criminals like him will not walk away and not behind bars. The only thing that he got was a temporary handcuff and he was released. But with CPIIA and a community that is going all over this country, we will guarantee you without a doubt that our assistance will be for you until the very end for your help, for your guidance, for the communications, for the documentations, for the proper evidence to be retrieved, for the proper evidence to be collected, for everything to be documented strategically, correctly, truthfully, to be given to the courts, the district attorneys, to make sure that a criminal will never walk away from a crime they have committed against you. Overall.